This is a short video uh, where I'll be showing you how you can use a stimuli in your simulations. So let's say we have a circuit like this one here and we would like to maybe apply some voltage here and measure the voltage here. Usually the common way you would do this in most other types of um, uh, simulators is you apply you use a voltage here and then you uh, measure the voltage here. But the problem is, if you use this approach, is that let's say you want to lay out the circuit at some other point in time. Uh, obviously, you will not be including the voltage sources in the layout. And after you lay out, you will, you will want to do something like a layout versus schematics. And uh, if you have a voltage source here and the voltage source is not present in the layout, then uh, the layout and schematic will never match. So one of the ways you can avoid having this issue is by using stimuli. Using stimuli means that you, you instead of uh, having the voltage sources directly connected to these nodes, you the voltage sources will be present only in the um, in the test bench. So the way we do this, uh, and of course this makes it this means that uh, your layout and schematic will always match, provided that you do your layout correctly. So one of the ways you can do this is uh, by using the stimuli idea, as I told you. So the first thing you do is uh, you have to make these things like pins and uh, something like that. So let's start with the pins. So this point, this is my gate. I'd like to give it a pin called G. Uh, let's say G for my uh, what's called um, the gate. So it's, an, it's a pit. I give it an, an input so I can at attach it here. Now this guy is my output. So I'm going to give it just the name as out and just switch this guy to OUT. Then apply this guy here. So far so good. Now this part is a VDD. Now, so for the VDD, you can also give it a pin called VDD, but it's usually safe because uh, in the layout you always have VDD lines and stuff like that. So you can give it a designated. Um, uh, you press I. You go to analog lib, for example. Where's analog lib? Then you can do something like VDD. There's already a designated one which is safe to use, for example, in the layout, and you can do something like this. So right now we have our circuit designed. Uh, I mean, we have created pins and now we have VDD here. Let's do a check. Hopefully I, everything is connected properly. So now everything has been connected. As I said, if you want to, if for other, all other types of uh, simulators, you would usually have to apply a voltage source here to simulate this thing. But this is usually not a good idea if you are planning to do layout. So we can go now, create an AD Explorer. We create a new one because we don't already have one yet. And then we can do a sweep. So now we have a MOS sweep. So what do we want to what do we want to do? We can come here, for example, analysis. Let's create a DC sweep. We would like to sweep the gate voltage. Sweeping the gate voltage uh, on the x-axis, and then we see the output of the uh, the drain. So come here, and then we can do something like save DC point or whatever. Then mm, okay, so far I forgot to do this. Uh, before I do that, let's uh, okay. First of all, let's try to add uh, what do we want to plot. I would like to plot this guy. Very good. Now I come here. It's already here, it's done. So this is, let's say, call it, let's say, V out. So this part is nice. Next step is, okay, as I was telling you just now, we have to apply stimuli, stimuli here. We have to set this voltage to be something. We have to set this uh, guy to be something else. We have this says VDD as the VDD that we're using, which is like for this process, maybe one, um, one volt. So this, you see this button here is called the stimuli. You can click on it. I think you can find it somewhere here. Okay, also here in setup stimuli. So you click on this stimuli. Now for the stimuli, you can see that we have this part, we have two parts. This part is called stimuli authoring and then uh, something else. Now if you've used uh, another type of, uh, let's say, ADEL instead of ADE Maestro, it has a different form. This one, if you, it's a little bit confusing the first time you use it because uh, it's not as simple to use as the stimuli form in ADEL where it's basically very simple, it's very intuitive here, because I think they wanted to have uh, the possibility of saving stimuli and reusing them, so the form is slightly more complicated. But anyway, the point here is to explain how it works. So we have to start that we, have, we want to create a stimuli. So let's call the first stimuli, I want to give it, let's say, supply. Supply voltage, you give it a name here. Notice, first of all, that authoring is set to on. This is because we want to create a new stimulus source. So stimuli, we click supply voltage. Now this, the VDD obviously is supposed to be a DC source. So, and then we give it a voltage, let's say one. And now we're done, we have to press apply. Now notice also here that you can sell, you can switch, you can select between either V or the voltage source or a current source, because obviously you have a DC, a current DC voltage. So you have to specify what exactly you mean apply. Now we have this guy here. So we have this guy here. This guy must be 
connected to the globals, right? Remember, VDD, we have a global VDD. So it is not a pin, but it is one of those global sources. So we come here, VDD. Notice VDD, it tells me at the moment that it's, it's unassigned. So how do I assign it? You see this, this, this is grayed out. So probably if you've used, if you try to figure this out for yourself, you go through a moment of frustration and then you have to actually have to click on off. As soon as I click off, then I can now do assign. So now VDD has been assigned a supply voltage. Fine. Next, we would like to do the VG, right? So for the VG, we, we again go to on. Of, co of course, you can do all of them at once. Then you start assigning pins, but I'm just trying to show you. So VDD, so let's say gate voltage, call it gate voltage. Now for gate voltage, what do we do? We want to give it, um, again, it's a DC source. So, okay. Now for the gate voltage, we want to actually sweep it, right? We want to sweep it from, let's say zero to VDD. So we would like to, um, create, this guy has to be a variable because we would like to sweep it. We cannot uh, just uh, specify here that we are going to sweep it. We have to give it some value. We're going to sweep it in the uh, analysis. So what you do here is since you would like to sweep this variable, this variable is not a constant. I mean, VG is not a constant like uh, VDD. So you have to give it a variable name. And to give it a variable name, you would expect that you give it directly something like VG as probably, if you remember, if you have done some, if you have used, the, if you, like, let me just show you quickly. So like a place here, you might come, let's say, to a voltage source. Uh, let's say if you want to give some parameter, oh, I've, I've done something wrong. But anyway, let's say I come click this guy. You see here, if you want to assign one of, let's say I want to assign my width to a variable, I will just come here and just give it a variable name, something like that. However, if you want to do the same for things here, you can just do it like this. You have to specify, I think, because this is using the skill command or something like that. So you have to specify that it is a variable and the variable name is VG. Something like that. Let's go back to this guy. I mistakenly did all these things. Let me delete. Okay. So back to this guy. So we want to get voltage. It's a DC source, DC voltage source, and it's a variable because it's something that we want to sweep. If we don't want to sweep it, then we keep it fixed. So now we have uh, specified, we click apply. Okay, it's telling me that uh, it's not yet created. I noticed that it has already created for me a design variable here that I can later use to sweep. So now I have my gate voltage stimulus uh, created. I can go to off. I switch back to pins, come here, and then I select assign. Okay, now this guy has been assigned to this pin. Just to show you something else probably that you might do here. Let's say you want to create another source, a, uh, a, a transient source. Now when you create a transient source, you probably have to do something like sign or, or a pulse. Then you can do all of this fancy stuff here. You give it a delay time or what of this thing. Now for these types of sources which are transient time, you can, you see show transient waveforms. You can click show. You can specify how long you want this transient to run for so that you can add a couple of transient sources. Maybe you can define different types of uh, combinations of transient sources and then you uh, can uh, combine them together and add, apply them to some node and something like that. So you can do all of this fancy stuff here. And when you do all of these things, you can always uh, preview the waveform before you simulate, before you do simulation with this button here. This is just to show you that uh, this option is available Any, anyway. Let's go back to hide. Okay, now we are done with it, with the, how do you call it, with the stimulus, uh, stimuli. The next thing is, of, of course, you have to keep, because when you do a simulation, this guy has to have some default value. Like uh, the, uh, the default value, you know, usually when you run a simulation, um, the tool will always try to find the DC operating point. Now to find the DC operating point, it has to know some, it, it has to know the values of the gate and all of these things. So this one, you tell it that, okay, uh, use this for the default value. It doesn't really matter here what you use. Usually it doesn't really matter because uh, after that it will start, uh, it will use that as a starting guess for, for the simulations. So now we want to do an analysis. Remember I told you we want to sweep the gate voltage and see the output here. So what we do is we come to analysis, we specify DC. I would like to save the, the DC operating point. Remember the DC operating point is the first thing that the simulation does. It solves the circuit initially, finds some initial state, and then from that state, it uses it to progressively solve for other uh, operating points in the circuit as you're sweeping your variables. So we want to actually sweep a design variable. Remember it's VG. You can write it here or you can just specify. Okay, see, I, I see VG here, nice. So I'd like to start from, um, let's say, from zero volts. 
let's go to so this is um, I don't know maybe let's use one I don't know one yes a linear uh, let's go to 0 0.01 so I'm sweeping it from 0 to 1 with a step size of 0 0.01 I click apply okay so now this guy is already set and the next thing to do is let me see if I have currently added first of all let me just make sure what I'm using here I'm using an NMOS VTH so I can come here job setup no um, what's it called model libraries I need to specify my model libraries that I'm using here for this guy so that it can find the library files and then usually I usually do this to make my life a little bit faster I can click OK so these parts are not really 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 necessary just to make life a bit, a bit faster so now everything is set up we can run my I can run the simulation like this oh I forgot to click on these things so basically we're not going to see any okay run one more time so now we run this guy and hopefully if everything has been done properly we get this so this is currently not working so which means that probably uh, let's see maybe my VDD is not uh, co connected correctly supply voltage VDD okay for some reason it's oh, I for, probably I forgot to assign G here wow so remember we forgot to do this part so we click on assign G yeah I guess I didn't do that so whatever let's see for the global pins it's I don't know what happened hmm I'm surprised like I don't know why it uh, but anyway do this again one more time supply voltage then now it should work really I don't know why it did not save the first time but it should have saved so yeah so this is how the uh, how do you say it looks like maybe if I extend this a bit we can see the common plot that let, let, let's do it even though I don't I don't think it should be it should go up all the way to 2 volts since this is a 1 volt process so we can do something like this and then mm, yeah, basically this is what you would expect from a common source amplifier, the um, large signal response. Of course, if you would like to see other things like, let's say you want to see the operating point like GM, you can come here. I think I'll just come here. Let's say you would like to see GM. Where is this guy? Edit variables. Is it variables? I'm completely... I don't know why I feel... Okay, I think this is the part. I would like to see operation point parameter, yes. Um, I think it's called M0 maybe. Okay, maybe we can click on this, click on this, come here, we get M0. And what I would I'd, I'd like to see, let's say I'd like to see GM, whatever, for some reason. This guy can delete. So now we would like to see GM and G out, and then we can plot both of them at the same time. Then we can see the plots of these things. Let's see, okay, nice. So you can see, when you're going from the um, how do you say from the cutoff region then suddenly you enter saturation then you get to the edge of uh, this is the part where you have the maximum this gm then suddenly you, yeah you can use this um, so basically this is what i wanted to show how you can uh, use the stimuli assignment form and hope it, this video has been informative